What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing and first look of the Galaxy Note 2 for at and It's got a new box for a new phone. We've checked this guy out on T-Mobile. We've seen the unlocked version. This is the one that's going to be again on at and Airwaves coming at you on November 9th. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so here is the box for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. It's AT&T's new box, which is sort of smaller and a little more minimalistic than we've seen in the past. Let's go ahead and see what you're going to get. Again, this guy is available for pre-order now. It'll be available on November 9th for $2.99 with a two-year contract. So here is the Galaxy Note 2 texting and driving. It can wait. And some pictures on the back. Looks like this has been opened up before. Probably the PR folks popped in a SIM card. Push this gingerly off to the side for just a minute. So what else you're going to get in your Galaxy Note 2 box. We've got a Galaxy Note 2 quick start guide for, of course, getting started quickly. And we've got the Manuel de Información de Salud de Seguridad y de la Juarentia. Also, health and safety and warranty guide uh, in here, depending on which way you want to read it. For accessories. It's quite Spartan in here. Uh, we've got, that was a nice Halo 2 uh, reference. Uh, we've got this brand new fancy wall adapter and then the micro cable that goes with it for charging and syncing. They do a little mating dance and you can charge your guy up. And that's about it. Let's push the box off to the side. And here is the phone. Texting and driving, it can indeed wait. Uh, it's always a good idea. Peel off all the plastic. Plastic has been peeled. Plastic has been peeled, so of course this is pretty much the same phone as the international version uh, that we did our full fangled review on. Uh, so link's going to be down below if you want to take a look at that annotated somewhere uh, down there to get a full uh, look at what we feel about the Note 2. Um, let's bring in some of the other versions that we've taken a look at. So here is the T-Mobile version. Looking at them from head on to head on, there's really no difference here uh, at all. They look pretty much identical in the back. Only difference you're going to see is a T-Mobile and a AT&T logo on there, but not much else. Uh, if we bring in the international version, pretty much the same there too. Samsung and Galaxy Note 2 uh, differences there. And that is just about it. Uh, battery is low uh, on this guy. Alright, so we got it all booted up. Let's run through specs. The highlight here is the operating system. It is Android 4.1 Jables. Uh, Jelly Bean with this course touch whiz on top of it, which we'll walk through in just a minute. Dimension standpoint, 5.95 inches by 3.17 inches by a thin 0.37 inches and it weighs 6.35 ounces. This is a gorgeous 5.5 inch next generation Super AMOLED display which they're calling HD Super AMOLED. It's got a resolution of 1280 by 720 with a 264 PPI. Uh, big beefy battery as you'd expect. Uh, 3100 milliamp hour battery giving you 15 hours of talk time. Uh, being powered by a Xenos quad core chip that's 1.6 gigahertz. That's a 4412 and it's got 2 gigs of RAM in here. The thing should be an absolute beast. Uh, 16 gigs of uh, expandable storage with micro SD. A megapixel camera dwell in there on the back. I can shoot 1080p video and sort of an oddly megapixel edge 1.9 shooter on the front. Usually it's 1.8. Uh, AT&T LTE on here on board as well. Uh, Bluetooth 4.0 and NFC. It is a world phone and it's got this S Pen, which before you start judging, touch with, uh, the S Pen does a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, that we didn't see the previous version. So if I can show you before the battery dies, um, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. Let's go into gallery, see if we got anything on here. No items on here. Um, albums. Nothing shot. Um, but you can do some cool stuff with it. So we'll go back home. Uh, you can hover over and you can sort of play video. Uh, it's got a new design on it, sort of more square, um, so you can have a better feel with your hand on it. You can hold down the button and you can take screenshots of certain stuff on the screen if you want, which is kind of neat. Go ahead and exit that out. Uh, and all kinds of other cool features that we highlighted in our original uh, Note 2 review, so be sure to check that out again. Annotate it right down below. Uh, let's continue our device tour. Uh, so you've got one home button right there as well, and if you want to multitask, you just hold that down and it opens up all your stuff. Uh, we've got two capacitor buttons, which will show up when you tap them, a menu button and a back button. Left-hand side, volume rocker that rocks it up and down. On the right-hand side, power and lock. Top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, noise canceling mic. On the bottom, that's where you're charging and syncing, micro USB is gonna live, another noise canceling mic. 
on the back. It is uh, Samsung sort of, I guess now ubiquitous plastic back. Go ahead and pull that off. SIM card slot, micro SD, and that behemoth 3100 milliamp hour battery right there. Um, so we'll put this guy through its paces and let you know our impressions. Uh, we don't expect that to differentiate that much from our unlocked uh, Galaxy Note 2 review, but if there's anything worthwhile noting, I'll be sure to let you know. And again, this is going to be available uh, on November 9th for just about 300 bucks uh, from AT&T and actually be available uh, from all major U.S. carriers and even some uh, non-major ones uh, as well. So any questions, let us know. Leave your comments down below. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.